pretty good. Christian, <laughs> Christian Coleman, you are the 100 meter world champion, the fastest man on the planet. If you can, just sum up this whole evening. It's been an incredible day. Um, I woke up this morning and I just said my prayers, just you know, thankful that I had this opportunity. I've been waiting for this day um, since 2017 when I got a silver medal and I knew I wanted to come out here and try to upgrade that. It's only one spot that you can go from silver and um, I was able to get a gold medal, bring it back home to American soil. And I'm a world champion, like you said, and um, it's an incredible feeling, incredible. You're excellent, thank you. Thank you so much. That your okay. little Estonia flag, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you good, Justin Gatling? Congratulations there on a silver medal. What does it mean to take another medal home from a world championship? You know, um, feels great. Uh, I started this 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 championship off with the word thankful, and I still want to end it with thankful. Um, I, obviously, from the prelims, everyone was like, ah, okay. And then the semis, everybody was like, oh, okay. So making it to the finals be able to put together a great race and run 9-8 in October, never done that before, to come out with the silver, I'm happy with that. When people are questioning you, like you said, oh, okay, is he going to do it, isn't he going to do it, how do you feel in that moment? Um, I've learned throughout the years just believe in yourself, stay, stay focused on what the task is at hand, and just come through, seize the moment. And my moment tonight was obviously to be able to get the silver, and I'm happy with that. Um, I had an up and down season, had a couple of injuries, had a question mark over my head if I was even going to come to the championship after my injury in Zagreb um, and still made the finals, made the podium. I'm thankful. So you would sum up this year as a very successful one? I'm going to go with successful. I'm going to go with successful. Of course, I'm a true competitor and I would always love to be able to be on top of that podium like I did in 17, but this is a launching pad to make a, great, a better season into 2020. And just finally, you're holding Estonia flag, not a USA flag. Why? Well, I threw my USA flag in the stands to my wife. Um, but Estonia, uh, I, I had my season back in 2011, and I trained in Estonia in there in 2011. And I didn't know where I was going to go, where I was going to train, and Estonia took me in. I had a guide who showed me for almost three to four weeks everything. I pretty much lived in Estonia, and Thailand is one of my greatest cities that I've been in. And they showed me so much love. And that guy who showed me around Estonia was here tonight. I didn't even know he's going to be here. And I saw him on the lap, and he threw me the flag. And that shows you that, you know, track and field fans are all around the world. It may not be a super sport like, like soccer or basketball or NFL, but there's so many fans around the world, and they're truly, truly dedicated to the sport. That was so many years ago, and he still is here tonight. I think you need a holiday home in Estonia. Congratulations <laughs> on the silver medal. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Andre de Grasse, congratulations there on your bronze medal in the men's 100 meters. It kind of shows how far you've come since 2017 when you were very injured. Yeah, I mean, I'm grateful. I mean, to to go through those injuries and, and battle back for, for the past couple of years, uh, I, all I can say is I'm grateful for it. I'm, it's it's an amazing feeling to get back here in Doha and be on the podium. Um, you know, all these guys, I, I knew I knew I had to come out here and just try to execute my, my best race. and. I felt like I did a good job and I ran a personal best. I was going to say a PB in the final doesn't come much better than that. Did you think you were in PB shape? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you know, coming into the championship, uh, I never ran that fast to be able to come into the championship running 9-9. So I knew I was capable of running faster. So just had to go through the rounds, make sure that uh, everything went well. And then when the finals came, I just, you know, tried to run my fastest. And you had the support from your little daughter down there as well. I saw you you kind of taking her around the stadium. Was it nice to have her support at a world championship? Yeah, it was her first world championship. Uh, I thought about it. I don't even know if I wanted to take her because it was such a long flight. But my mom, you know, I'm grateful for her that she, you know, she went on the plane with her and took her. And uh, she's, she's great. So definitely she's having fun. And uh, it was her first time. So she, I'm looking forward to taking her to the Olympics next year. <laughs> Is the medal going to your daughter? Definitely. Uh, definitely. Uh, that would be one of one of her medals and you know so she can she can play with it and, and see if she likes it congratulations and good luck in the 200 thank you thank you